Hey everybody, it's Laura London. We're talking about avoiding that holiday weight gain. If you have a tip that you'd like to share with us, please leave us a comment below. This is such a great topic. I want to hear from you. Now I'm going to tell you what my tips are. Hey everybody, happy holidays. It's Laura London from lauralondonfitness.com and I wanted to talk to you about not putting on that holiday weight. The time is here, the parties are coming. It might happen unless you prepare yourself. So here are some of my tips to avoid that holiday weight gain. Eating before you go. Now I know this one is simple, it's common sense, but so many of us will try to save up our calories and eat very little throughout the day so we can feast at that holiday party. That is not gonna work for you and I'll tell you why. Because what's gonna happen is one, you're letting your blood sugar just plummet and drop, you're gonna get tired, you're gonna get cranky, and when you get to that party, you are no doubt going to overeat. So don't let that happen to you. Make sure you eat consistently throughout the day, eating healthy foods, a lot of water, have a nice snack or a green smoothie before you go to that party, and you are going to be prepared. The other thing I wanna to talk to you about is wearing tight clothing. Now that might sound a little odd. Laura, why in the world would I wear tight clothing to go to a party? And I don't mean a tight dress. What I'm talking about is something that may be a little tight on you and it's gonna make you aware that you do not want that clothing to get any tighter and you are not gonna overindulge at that party or that holiday dinner. All right, so that's another tip. Again, I know it's a little different, but trust me, it really works. Now, if you're gonna be drinking at a party, any alcoholic beverages, or just drinking in general, juices, anything, um, here's my rule of thumb. For every drink you have, have a glass of water. What this is going to do is one, it's gonna make you fuller. It's gonna slow down your drinking so you're not apt to drink as much. And uh, it's also going to hydrate your body because those alcoholic drinks, besides throwing your blood sugar all out of whack, sticking right onto your glutes, uh, they just dehydrate the body. So get that extra water in there, you're gonna feel full, and you're gonna be really happy when you wake up the next morning. Okay, another one is do not pile everything on your plate. Think sampler platter. If there are things there that you're going to enjoy, and you know, maybe your, your aunt makes a fabulous apple pie, or you're looking forward to a special dish, it's okay to have it, plan it out. Plan out, okay, I'm gonna have a little of this, a little of this, a little of this. I don't want the plate piled high. It should be like this, and also, don't go back to the table, the buffet, for seconds. Say to yourself, I'm gonna go to this party, I'm gonna enjoy the things that I like to eat, I'm gonna have a little bit of everything, and I'm not gonna overindulge, and I am not gonna go back to that buffet table just because it's there. The holidays are not a time to just splurge. Think about what they truly are about. They're about spending time with your friends and family. That's what's really important. And trust me, it feels so good in the morning to wake up without that food hangover. I know you know what I'm talking about. Okay, another tip is when you're done with your meal, stick a piece of gum in your mouth. Stick something minty and fresh, or if you're at home, go brush your teeth. That's gonna make you feel like you're done eating. When you have that nice, fresh, clean breath, fresh mouth, you're less likely to pick and nibble and again, go back for more. So that's always worked for me. And another thing is have a plan. Have a plan with your fitness. Have an exercise routine that you know you're going to do the next day. So if you did do a little bit too much, 
which I know you're not gonna do, you're gonna get right back on track because there is no wagon to fall off and we just don't ever stop, we keep going at the next meal. So if you need any more help with that, I have some great programs for you also, but I just wanted to wish everybody a happy and healthy holiday from Laura London Fitness, from myself, and from me to you. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday time with your friends and family. Bye-bye.